Hey guys, it's Alon, and you may be wondering why I'm back on a version of Minecraft that came out like a month after I started playing. That's because today we're going to be checking out Pyrift's 64-bit mod, and the, craziness, and the craziness that comes with teleporting to the insane distances accessible of this mod. Now the seed to this is that, is, although it is a random 19-digit number, I actually entered it in myself. I'll explain its sentimental significance to me at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's teleport to our first distance that we're going to check out. The 1, 100... 34,359,738,168. Well, Alright. Alright, so the world is still very normal and the and the game is actually still playable at this distance. But you may notice already that something is a little off with the surface block generation. You may, you may notice that at this point the stone basins become extremely stretched out and and appear in stripes basically like you can see there's a line of grass blocks that's actually a snow covered basin we're in a tundra biome so it's not the so it's actually not the best environment to show this but let me see how fun this is at this is x coordinate minus 100 and over here so we see the beginning of another basin at x coordinate minus 34. So they're actually, which is actually, which is actually 66 blocks or 65 blocks. There really is no head into it, but it's but just the biome fill noise overflows around this point, and the and the basin becomes incredibly stretched out. Now let's now let's teleport to 20,100. Actually, 110, nine quadrillion, seven, nine, and then it's put in. Nine quadrillion, seven trillion, one hundred ninety-nine billion, two hundred fifty-four million, seven forty thousand, nine hundred ninety-two. This is going to put us. This is going to put us really, really far away. And the ground here actually isn't solid, like in bedrock edition, beyond eight million three hundred eighty thousand turn eight. Now you can immediately see here that that these stripe lands of bedrock edition are generating over here, or appear over here. Now. Now, one thing you may notice here is actually that the water, instead of instead of appearing in stripes, actually stretches out to match the precision loss, at, which which here is just two blocks. And after the, and I already and I'm already having a hard time moving in this direction, similar to in my Bedrock Edition Farlands videos. So I recommend you go check those out. But after this point, it actually becomes impossible to move at normal flying speed. So. But now let's teleport to 1, 100, 53, but now it's 53 quadrillion, 905 trillion, 378 billion, 859 million, 432,480. This, this is the moment that you have been waiting for. Now, when the map loads in here, you're going to see that the far lands actually spawn at around this coordinate. And, it, and the wall appears two-dimensional at this distance. This is actually what the Bedrock Edition Farlands would look like if they were pushed out to like 100 million blocks out. So if they, so in that Reddit thread that I saw about about moving the Bedrock Edition Farlands, if they if they were to move the Farlands in the Bedrock Edition to eight times the distance instead of just twice the distance, this is what they would have gotten. Now you can see how the 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 grass gener how the there's a lot like there's dirt layers all the way down to the bottom here over here and there's none here. Normally there's a, normally there's only about three or four dirt layers below the grass. But this but one thing that this mod does offer is an optional stripe lands fix. All right, so now we can actually see what's going on here a bit more clearly. And you can see that the that this actually does very, look very much like the, the classic farmlands. Now let's head up to the top here, and you'll see the stripes, and you'll see the normal stripes and valleys at the top. Now the exact starting point of the farmlands is actually 53 quadrillion, 905 trillion, 378 billion, 859 million, 432,512. But I put myself 32 blocks short of that to get a good view of the wall. Now, now, but now I'm going to teleport to an area to an area that no that nobody has checked out of this mod before, as far as I'm sure. Okay, let's go. Let's head to the intersection of the corner farlands. So no, 40 there. And now let's put 100 on the Y and the same number in again on the Z. 50, 50, 53 quadrillion, 905 trillion, 380 billion, 59 million, 432,480. I do 480. 
Again, because of, of the distance, it puts me away from the wall. Now, one thing you'll see right away is just like I, it's just like I theorized, just like I theorized it would, the terrain near the corners actually becomes very repetitive, like in Bedrock Edition. And now, now I actually sort of saw this coming because that because I believe that to be because of 32-bit precision loss in the terrain generation there. And this, and by this point, 64-bit precision is just like gone. Like I, I'm actually, and I actually cannot move at this distance, which is, and by the way, it's nothing to do with, with the train generation it's precision loss issues, but it's sort of similar. Like just look at this, the same tunnel is actually repeated eight times here. And again, this is what the bedrock edition does near the corner. But to meaningfully explore the corner farlands, I'm going to, I'm actually going to have to teleport myself over there, but it, but you can see that it is generating like the regular corner far lands, and, and now you can actually see the same problem with the clouds in Bedrock Edition where they were their position, where they were moved very blocky. So now let's head to 53.95. So now let's teleport ourselves over there. 560, 140, 53.95, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, This should put us over there. About this should put us somewhere over there. Yeah, you can see it's generating like plateaus at the tops, just like the regular and and basins, like the regular corner farmlands. But but now, but now what I'm going to show you guys is a very interesting. But now what I'm going to show you guys is a very interesting artifact of the edge farmlands as you get further in. So now I'm going to teleport myself to zero, 140. And I'm going to put myself at four times the normal Farlands distance in this mod. So 215 quadrillion. I don't even remember this number offhand. 621 trillion. 515 billion. 437 million. 730,000. And 48. Alright. So this should put us way in the, deep in the edge Farlands. Now you can't see that the terrain is starting to come messed up, and this formation here resembles the lines on a road. All right, so here, but I'm trying not to, but I'm trying not to spend too much time here because because I because I want because I want it to be like because I want it because when it's daytime you get a clear view. Sorry about stuttering there, but and wow, just look at these vines. They're insanely stretched out. And, and look at that, the gravel just fell right through the world. The ground at these distances, again, isn't, isn't solid. And you can see the repeating artifacts starting to generate over here. In the distance. Alright. Now, now let's head to 0, 140. And 1 quintillion. This is a billion, a trillion, quadrillion, quintillion. There, I know those zeros are hard to keep track of, but now you can see that there are uh, that there are a lot of repeating artifacts, and I'm actually starting to experience the same close chunk not rendering issue that you see on the old on the Farlands videos in the old versions when they teleport to like the billions. But you can see, but again, you can see there are a lot of repeated artifacts. And because I'm traveling on the z-axis and not the x-axis, the clouds are moving normally. Just look at that x-ray view of the far lands. But anyway, now let's head to the same coordinate that, that I just showed you guys in a, little, a few moments ago in the corner far lands, 215, which is exactly four times the far lands distance. 215 quadrillion, 620 trillion, 515 billion, 437 million, 730,000, 48. 140 and the same number, and I'm going to put the same number in the Z. Alright. So this will, so now we can, so now we can see that the, that this still looks very much like the normal corner far lands. But there's a lot more repeated pillar artifacts. And, and you can see this, there's also this stone stripe pattern on the ground. That's because of the biofill noise overflow. 
Once again, uh, I showed you guys earlier in the video. Like you can see over here, this this mound of grass is repeated three times. And this and these curves are also repeated three times. And they form and they actually form a Sudoku like grid. Anyway, but anyway, now let's now teleport to the last distance. We're gonna to the last distance that we're gonna check out today. Four quadrillion, four quintillion actually, three hundred twelve trillion, four and thirty billion. 212 quadrillion, 430 trillion. I keep messing that up. And 308 billion, 74 million, 600,000, 140, and then the same number again. <laughs> now we're about this. Will, now the, <laughs> Wow, what are those noises? Anyway, anyway, this will put us about halfway to the hard limit of the world. Uh, that was, those were probably mobs falling through the ground. That was very weird. Anyway, anyway the closed chunk not rendering issue has gotten... Anyway, the closed chunk rendering issue has now gotten to the point where I can barely see what's going on here. So, yeah. Actually, yeah. Now I can see what's now I can see it. I can now I can see it. There's like just two box strips of grass here, and 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 stone everywhere else. Actually, that actually that was actually it might have been a cave noise. Sorry, sorry if that scared you guys. And, but this is what the farther lands look like. In this mod. So now let's teleport back to spawn. There. So now, so now I'll explain to you, so there, now we're back at spawn. And I'll explain to you guys what is the sentimental significance that this seed has for me. This was actually the seed that I that uh, was on my my twenty my March to July twenty twelve main world. world and and over here there was actually a waterfall. This, for some reason it didn't generate with this mod. And and there was a swamp biome over here, and you can actually see the swamp biome looks slightly different. Uh, the grass is actually brighter, and the jungle biome, there you can see sort of seed over there. The trees are actually different than they generated in vanilla. So yeah, guys, that just about wraps up this Farland slash mod showcase video. It, leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell for all notifications. And goodbye.